Welcome back. In today's video, we will study the dashboard of Burp Suite, and then we will study the proxy module. So let's begin with the dashboard of the Burp Suite. First of all, open your Burp Suite software. You can see we have opened our Burp Suite. So this is the main page, and I have selected the dashboard of our Burp Suite tab. You can also see the other components. That is the target proxy intruder, repeater, collaborator, sequencer, decoder, and so on. So you can also see the collaborator is not available in the community edition. It is only available in the Burp Suite Professional. So let's coming back to our dashboard. You can see there are many windows. Our first window is task. As you can see it, the task window is used for monitoring the progress of tasks that are currently running. We can open the task detail window for an individual task to see more information. We can also search for different tasks using the search bar. You can see it here like if I write task 1, there is no such task. If I write about crawl. So you can see we have one task that is the live passive crawl from proxy all traffic. So this is one task that is currently running in our burp suite. We can also pass and resume individual tasks or all tasks together. As you can see, I can just pass this task one by clicking on the pass button. That's it. The other window is event log. We can view the event log to monitor for alerts or other information. This information may be useful to troubleshoot network connection or any other problem. So you can see. If I just filter all the options that are the critical error end for end debug, we can see a lot of logs that are currently being generated by Burp Suite. We have one other window that is called the issue activity. This window tells us if there is any sort of vulnerability in the website we are currently browsing, but this window is only available in the Pro Edition, so this was all about our dashboard.